Alright, shooting some groups today at the range. Now I shot the uh, Mark IV Hunter. This is a great little pistol. Very accurate. I shot some Federal 525 packs. No failures, no, nothing wrong with the, uh, the ammunition, no failures of feed, failures to inject, nothing. So I, I'm going to zoom in on here. These are all the Mark IV here. And I'll show you these little red circles, what they were for. Nice little groups in here. Very accurate, that pistol. That's the Mark IV Hunter shooting Federal 525 packs. And when I was at the range today, they had another training session. And I get a load of the, the, the commander telling the guys uh, to lock and load. And we're going to shoot two rounds and we're going to put it in our holster. Uh, but they, uh, these people look like they never shot before. So I don't know if it's some kind of a training for uh, security or whatever. So I got into the, uh, the, the, the momentum of uh, locking and loading and the whole bit. So I took this little thing out here. This little, little Ruger Mark. Um, it's not a Mark, excuse me. Uh, SR-22 pistol. And I, um, I wanted to show. So I was shooting these. These were at uh, 15 feet here. Now it's a small barrel. It's like three and a half inch barrel, so you don't get the accuracy really. But I wanted to do their, their little rule and put the target like four feet or something right in front of me. Maybe four or five feet, like right in front of you, because that's where everybody says you got to shoot. Because self-defense, you got to shoot when the guy's right at you. Well, I believe on shooting when the guy's coming at me. Maybe ten feet. I ain't going to wait till he gets up in my face and then shoot him. But what I did is I put it out about five feet, and that little one on the top where the head is, See if you can see it. That was 10 rounds. I laid this pistol on the table in front and I picked it up to shoot. I had my hands on the side because I don't have a holster. But I laid it on the table. I picked it up, aimed, and shot. I pumped 10 rounds in the top from the circle and I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit better. So there's five I hit. And the other ones hit a little lower. And that thing here. So you got double here. One, two, three, four, five. That was that rapid. That was picking it up and just shooting it from a rest position. So overall, nice day today. Um, and when I left in the front, but the air conditioning wasn't working in the back. I mean, my glasses were fogging up on me. It was hot. But I left in the front, and I was putting my glasses and my earmuffs in the bag, and I overheard the guy at the counter tell the other guy, that's what they want to do here. They want to stop online ammo purchases. Well, everybody wanted to know why I was buying. Why you keep buying for? Because I had a feeling they wanted to do this way before. They wanted to do this a couple years ago. Now they got a bill out there, and they want to push it to stop the online ammo sales in this state. I don't know if it will go through now, because we do have a Democratic governor now. So a little update on that. So uh, I'm pretty well prepared for my ammunition. I don't know you want to buy more if it, it's on sale, but I pretty got a lot. So... If they stop it, they stop it. But uh, that's what I did today. A little range shooting today. I had some time. Got my chores done. So I had to get to the range and uh, go do a little shooting.